Welcome to the Startup Grind. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the fourth Startup Grind event in Kuwait. If this is the first time you come to a Startup Grind event, the purpose of Startup Grind is to learn from the experiences of local successful entrepreneurs so that uh, all aspiring entrepreneurs can benefit from their experiences and learn from the, the struggles that they went through. And uh, Startup Grind focuses on encouraging sharing experiences and learning from one another rather than being too restrictive and uh, protective of our ideas and experiences. Some people say, I don't want to share my ideas because it may give an advantage to potential competitors. But what Startup uh, Grant tries to encourage is that we can all benefit and each, uh, the success of others will become our own uh, success. With us today is uh, Rakan Fadala, the uh, founder of uh, Chocolateness. And he's going to share his experience in growing chocolateness from a uh, small uh, exhibition exhibit to uh, a uh, successful business. So welcome, Makan. Thank you. Uh, to start off with, how did chocolateness begin? Okay, first of all, when you talk about chocolateness, it's three different phases. Uh, the first phase, we, we were just, just for fun business participating in exhibitions with support the youth talents and youth uh, ideas. So our first uh, try was on 7th and, uh, and 8th, uh, sorry, 7th, 8th, 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 November 2007. And we sold more than 400 Morton cake, each Morton cake, one kg, so for, uh, for the university students, 400 kg for two days. It was a huge, alhamdulillah, income. So it was just for fun. We participated in that event and khalas. It, 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 the end of that idea. The next semester, 7th and 8th of May 2008, we participated on the same event, which is the Guest Carnival. We sold more than 700 mountain cakes on that carnival, 1 kg, 700 kg for the, for the idea. And the third uh, the try was on December 2008, and on that exhibition, we sold more than 1,000 mountain cakes, and it's still just for fun business. We about it as a really in the uh, After the third participation in the Gulf uh, University Carnival, we thought about it. Based on the students' demand and based on our friends and family demand, they thought they told us about why why not having your own business, why are, why not having your own shop? Try to establish a company, try to at least transfer to be a home-based business. So it turned to be a home-based business at the end of December 2008, where we distribute the tasks and missions between us as a partners. I used to be a call center operator, a chef, and uh, the, 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 the person who are dealing with the suppliers. Plus, we were the delivery uh, the delivery persons uh, in chocolate business. So the partners. Plus, Mira Aizel Ghannam, she is behind the secret, the secret recipe of the Zodiac Abdel Latif Al-Mali. She helped us a lot in developing the, the recipes of chocolate So, uh, at that day, Alhamdulillah, we, we received calls between our uh, classes, and we start baking the cake afternoon and during evenings, and we deliver the cake at the same time. On 19th January 2009, we hired the first first family member in chocolate, this family, he was a driver, that did us in delivery services. And alhamdulillah, we expanded our, uh, expanded our operations until we reach nowadays operation, which is more than 100 uh, family members in chocolate, this company. Plus, we have five branches out of that capital that we started with less than $500 at the beginning of the story, or at the beginning of, the, of our journey. So, alhamdulillah, we started with that rented booth, nine square meters, two days, just for fun business, with less than $500. Now, they, alhamdulillah, we have five branches uh, in 
weight plus our factory and industrial area. And we have strategy that uh, talk about in, uh, the coming questions, where we want to be after five years and where we want to be after 20 years. So basically, uh, we focused in, on selling only one product, which is the mountain cakes, for almost four to five years. And that's why we succeeded in building the brand and building the loyal base of the clients and customers. We tell them how to know chocolate is by only one product. So this is one of the reasons why we are successful and why we are here today. Uh, being focused is one of the most important elements of our successful story. So one product, four years, and uh, come to the Now, I'm interested in uh, when uh, chocolate has first started, it was a different environment, business environment, to what we have today. Yeah. So back in the day, you didn't have Instagram to promote your business. You didn't have Twitter, these uh, social media channels. So how did you promote um, chocolate back then? Was it just through students? Or? Okay, before answering this question, um, chocolate is history uh, divided into three sections based on just for one business. And then we transferred uh, as a home-based business between 2009 until 2010. And after August 2010, we established our official company in Kuwait. And, and so far, we are an official business in Kuwait. So uh, going back to the question, uh, since we don't have enough budget to advertise or to market our ideas, our products, our services, so we don't, uh, we don't know how to use the traditional media. And we thought about avoiding the traditional media and try to focus on the social media channels that started at that time. So we had two solutions at that time. Facebook groups or Facebook solutions, whatever solutions they provide, plus the black play. And uh, we established our group on Facebook and we start to market our products and services. We, just, we, we send SMS messages. For all, for all our family members and friends, we told them, we told them about the just molten cake. So everybody is asking about it and trying to order from our uh, own business. Plus the BBM, the BlackBerry Messenger feature from BlackBerry uh, smartphones, we use that feature to market uh, that feature to market our product. We told pe we told people, please add us on BBM, so you will receive our broadcast every night. Uh, receiving five questions, and the first person who answered that five question, he will, you yeah, win a prize of one dozen of molten cakes. So we start to market our product in that way. It's very simple thing, man. A contest every day, cultural questions about Kuwait history, and not specifically for chocolateness. So Alhamdulillah, until it reached more than or almost 1,000 members on our, on our BBM class, we stopped that. Uh, contest because we cannot uh, any deal with that much of members on daily basis. Huh? Alhamdulillah, at the end of this story, the research and motion company, the owner of TV, uh, the, the owner of BlackBerry through their PR agency in Kuwait, they did a case study about chocolateness and they came to our store and they uh, photographed our uh, BlackBerry device and they wrote the case study about chocolateness, how we use that feature to market our product and services. Alhamdulillah, it was successful. And they published it, this case study uh, within the uh, media here in Kuwait and the newspapers. So at that time, we are always, until today, we are always looking for the available resources that we can use in the minimum cost on us. So we cannot and we don't want to use the, the traditional media because of two reasons. One of them is, as I told you, I think it was the cost needed to, in order to advertise on the traditional media. And the other thing which is more important than the first reason is that the traditional media, when you advertise in, in TV or the newspaper, you are giving a one-way message. But through the social media channels, using any channel like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, it's an engagement platform. So you can engage with your clients and customers. You can gain an instant feedback directly once you advertise about your product and say this you will you will know what your clients are thinking of you're building a relationship yes yeah so it, it is actually yeah it is better than the normal uh, traditional media and media maybe at that time everybody is reading newspapers not everybody yeah, most of the people are uh, knowing the ads 
from the uh, traditional media, cinema, the streets, as the TV stations, and the newspapers, and magazines. But Alhamdulillah, the social media helps us a lot. And still, I, mean, I think all the small businesses all around the world using the social media as the, 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 the most influential, the most effective tool in order to market uh, their products and services. So, uh, I'm not sure if this is enough to answer this So, uh, back in the day, there weren't that many home businesses that were established selling the products that you were selling. No. And today, there are so many different home businesses. No. Uh, how does chocolateness stand out from the competition? Mm -hmm. And what advice would you give current home businesses on how to d uh, differentiate themselves? I love this question. And that's... Sure. Uh, yeah, 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 I love this question. What's differentiate chocolateness than any other SME in Kuwait or all around the world? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, we, we built our corporate social responsibility program within chocolateness. We always think about how we can give back to the community, how mm. we can support the community. So there is two reasons why we, why we built that uh, uh, program. One of the reasons is marketing and PR. We want to show people the brand of chocolateness and the other reason is to tell people since you supported us at our beginnings and you help us growing and being chocolateness like today that's how, that's why we are trying to give back to the community and that's the way that we are trying to differentiate chocolateness than the other brands so we are always uh, any, talking to the entrepreneurs to the startups how should they proceed with their businesses they must they must include the CSR activities and events within their strategy and within their plans. Mm. So from the educational perspective, since we started from GUST, from an exhibition within, an, within one of the universities, so right now we are, we are sponsoring the, most of the exhibitions that we participated on, we are mm. sponsoring uh, outstanding students, graduation ceremonies, will, uh, will projects of the College of Engineering students will graduate. Plus, from the environmental perspective, how we differentiate our brand, how we dif differentiate chocolateness. From the environmental perspective, we are trying to be an eco-friendly project. Huh? Mm. We, we built our first branch in Burj Jassim. If you see the, the, the base of the tables, the light system, it's all from recycled materials. So that's how we're trying to support community. It's not direct support, huh? it's indirectly, but we're trying to be a eco an eco-friendly project having our souvenirs from all recycled uh, materials. So uh, even the uh, plastic bags that we are using every day in our uh, uh, packaging systems, it's all, uh, it's all يعني, an eco-friendly materials and the product. So we're trying to be eco-friendly a project. This is from the environmental uh, perspective. From the health and um, sport perspective, we established the Chocolateness Olympics uh, program, which is the tournaments, football and bowling tournaments for the males and females. We want to tell people, and that's how we differentiate chocolateness, and mm. that's why I'm telling the entrepreneurs and startup, you have to do something else rather than just selling a product mm. or, give, or just selling a service. We did that tournaments, football and, and, and bowling, to tell people that we are taking care of your health. Mm. We are not just selling a molten cake if you eat a lot of that molten cakes and yeah. we don't want to increase obesity but and at the same time we are trying to take care of people's health mm. uh, this is from the health and uh, sport uh, perspective of course there is a lot of activities that we are sponsoring every day uh, on, on every field but this is the main things that we have done in order to tell people that you have to do something for the community and it's it's not about a big or large corporations or companies it's not about uh, you should يعني, it's not res, uh, responsibility by the telecommunication or or banks or oil companies even if we are small companies yeah. even if we are startups we can do something for the community whatever the size of that effort that we have to do or whatever the 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 effect or the influence that will come out from that effort we should do something because that thing will develop the country one day in the future yeah. uh, from the country and at the end of course it will develop the world mm -hmm. if all the entrepreneurs all the startups think the same all around the world we can do a better change for a better one in the future so that's how chocolateness try to differentiate the brand and this is 
يعني a good thing ها huh? at the same time it builds a very loyal base of customers maybe mm. it's very hard to have loyal customers ها huh? or turning your regular customers into a loyal customers mm. there is a lot of programs who uh, يعني are developed to, to to have the the customers as loyal customers but once you are doing that activities and that events of course you will have all your customers it's impossible to have to have all uh, customers as loyal customers but it will take you there one day that this is the thing that differentiate chocolateness plus this is the thing that makes all our customers protective and supportive for chocolateness every day whenever people try to uh, criticize chocolateness or whenever people try to say negative thing about chocolateness one moment يعني ما شاء الله الحمد لله at يعني at one day we 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 don't have to answer that uh, negative yeah. feedbacks or that uh, any negative uh, questions from our clients the clients themselves the ro- the loyal client themselves they are answering in on behalf of chocolateness yeah. so that's how we trying how we are trying to differentiate chocolateness than any other SMEs and we are doing that things not to, to tell people that we are doing good things but to motivate them Yeah. to to give them the 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 example of the successful uh, projects that have d- been done by small business we're telling people that you can do something this is all from different perspective huh? from the humanitarian perspective we did a lot of efforts and يعني, all the al-a'mal uh, al the good things should be عفوا طي الكتمان يجب ان تبقى طي الكتمان هذا واجب ديني علينا ان نبقي هذه الاعمال في as as a, as a secret but الحمد لله we are doing that to tell people that you can do something and to motivate people we are sending uh, people to travel to الحج and umrah within our company within our family members we are uh, we we did a group from uh, restaurants and uh, companies owners and we went to streets distributing ice creams water cakes food for the labor for the workers on the on the roads during july 1 pm so imagine the weather imagine the atmosphere and imagine the heat the, yeah. yeah imagine the the feelings ba- fr- from the, the the labor and the workers on street how do they feel when they feel what we feel every day mm. so we are trying to to give back to community and we are trying to increase the happiness within the community and this is one yeah. of the reasons why we are trying to differentiate a chocolateness brand we want to tell people that you can do it whatever size of your company and يعني, it is on the same time will market your product will market your company and يعني, will build a very loyal base of customers for your company yeah. uh, that's a very interesting point because uh, <coughs> a lot of uh, business owners they think of their business just as a business, as an establishment. Yeah. But the customers see it more as the business having a personality. So what kind of values does this uh, business have? So what you're doing is you're creating or you're expressing certain values that uh, your customers can relate to and then develop that loyalty. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, I wanted to ask, um, uh, at the beginning, did you have to invest or uh, raise funds or was it all through the sales of Yeah, uh, w- one of the elements of chocolateness uh, success is we didn't spend any dinar, mm. any fills since our beginnings. Wow. We always have our يعني, revenue in our bank account until the time that we need to establish the company and to open our first store. Okay. يعني, until today, we just يعني, have uh, very little amount of the revenue as a profits. But mm-hmm. we did establish the company based on our revenues. We didn't gain uh, or get any uh, uh, yeah, f- uh, fund or finance uh, from any bank, from any party in Kuwait until we reach the level of opening our branch uh, in the Avenues Mall, which requires uh, any, a big uh, investment. For at that level, يعني, we, we went to the industrial bank in Kuwait to s- in order to support the, the project of Chocolateness, the Avenues. But We reached the level of opening three branches in Kuwait and having more than 50 uh, family members in chocolateness uh, company without any finance from any party. Nice. So you have, you have to save your uh, revenue. Don't spend any dinar, don't spend any fills 
uh, because of course of the future of the company. This is will helps yeah. you a lot in the future. Yeah. Yes. And uh, you said you were working on chocolateness from when you were in university. Did you ever get a government job or corporate job, or you transitioned to full entrepreneurship straight away? Well, uh, I have an experience before chocolateness, okay. before the Students Union. Uh, I established a, a, an advertising company, and this is one of the uh, experiences where I gain a lot from. Uh, I brought an idea since I lived uh, one year in UAE. Uh, I was studying there uh, computer engineering, but I didn't continue my studying there. So I brought one of the ideas, which is advertising on oh, and went to Karama, the toilets doors in the shopping malls and the main uh, uh, so once I established that company and start to market that idea within the uh, market here in Kuwait no one are interested to advertise on that type mm. of uh, <laughs> In and outside, three three frames on each toilet. يعني كل كابينة three frames. So each toilet on the door from outside and inside and يعني on the wall inside the toilet. So it was uh, a solution, advertising solution, which is very very successful all around the world. Even in Dubai, I saw it in Dubai. Huh? Every mall in Dubai they they have that solution. But in Kuwait, يعني it was not accepted. Maybe because of يعني, the culture here of the market, the culture of the people who are managing the advertising, the marketing in the, in the companies, they are not accepting that kind of ideas. So I didn't continue on that, on that business because of uh, different reasons. One of them is I'm very involved in political campaigns here in Kuwait. Uh, uh, one of our family members يعني, were uh, in, the, in the parliament, so I'm involved in his campaign. And during 2006, everyone knows what happened in Kuwait, the five districts issue. So I lose the focus on my business. And I start working on the political campaigns with two uh, parliament members at that time. So this is one of the reasons. Losing focus is one of the most important um, reasons of any business uh, Challenge. Mm. I, I hate to say failure, huh? Yeah. So, and, sorry, and another lesson: avoid politics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> he doesn't agree. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. لو خليت خريبت. So every every field, um, the economy, the uh, politics, the education, there is negative and positive yeah. uh, things. For, يعني, the politics يعني, one of those fields. For, we should ha support the, the good people, the people that we are believing in, in order to, يعني, to develop the country, to develop the, the, the life, and يعني, inshallah, to develop the world. Yeah. So uh, this is one of the reasons, lo losing the focus. focus. Yeah. Plus, at that time, during uh, the, the summer of 2006, I got the opportunity to be uh, part of the students' union at GAST. So when I thought about it, يعني, it was uh, a good opportunity and I don't want to waste at that time. So I shut down my business and I ran the election. Alhamdulillah, I, I won two years and I, I was elected as a president of the students' union. And that was one of my uh, changing life points. I, I think without being in, involved in the students' activities, maybe I, I didn't establish chocolateness. يعني ما راح أكون موجود اليوم هني. ف so يعني I shut down the business for a better opportunity. So you don't have to stop if you love the idea. You have to go as much as you can with the idea, but don't stop except if you have a better idea. And that's why I stopped mm -hmm. my first company. So going back to the question, please. Uh, did, did you have a job? Did you get a job, yeah. government job? So uh, this is one of the, my, my experiences. Uh, uh, during uh, my studying time in GAST, I was the teaching assistant of algebra programs. Alhamdulillah, I'm very good in math. And my major was math in high school. And uh, during uh, my studies in university, 
as a computer scientist, we, uh, we, we talk a lot of uh, mathematics courses. So I got the full marks, alhamdulillah, uh, mashallah, in, in two courses in algebra during the first year. So they invited me to teach the students. Mm -hmm. So I was studying at the same time, I'm teaching assistant for the algebra, uh, intermediate algebra course in GUST. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is one of the experiences that I learned how to communicate with people, the students, how do I deliver uh, knowledge, experience, how to teach, and يعني, it was a very good experience. At that time, uh, also, يعني, نفس الوقت, I transferred to be uh, uh, involved in the students, uh, عفوان, to the uh, students' uh, election. بس, at that time, I went to the uh, students' union for two years, from 2006 until 2008, and it changed my life. Before mm. entering the, the students' union, all who I know, يعني, were maybe 25 people, 25 persons, my family members, my friends. And right now, alhamdulillah, this يعني, will happen to everyone who will engage, who will involve in any activity. Huh? It was a students' union, but every one of us will face an opportunity to increase his knowledge, his relations. Alhamdulillah, yeah. right now, I'm dealing with thousands of people every year because of that experience in the past. Mm. So going back to the question, I was uh, the head of student union. After that, we established chocolateness since 2007 until today. And right now, uh, uh, I work even as a volunteer for the Ministry of Youth, as a consultant for the voluntary work department. Uh, plus, uh, I'm doing uh, my consultancy services for free as a volunteer for any entrepreneur, for any startups. Every day I'm receiving students, I'm receiving startups in my office uh, in Burj Asim to teach them, to tell them, uh, sorry, not to teach them, to tell them how to work, how to establish their companies, and we are giving them our suppliers, our secrets, everything except the secret recipe of the molten cake, huh? <laughs> but we're trying to help them because in our, at our beginnings, we start to fight alone without a base of small businesses uh, to gain our rights huh? from the government or from any other uh, parties. Mm. So right now we are trying to help as much as we can in order to grow the, th this base of entrepreneurs and startups in order to fight in the future for our right and get whatever we want more easier than more easy than uh, any what we are facing uh, in the past. So. Uh, this is uh, one of my experiences and roles right now, is being consultant for the uh, small businesses. Alhamdulillah, we expanded our relations uh, and we received uh, the Professor Nazim Ali from Harvard University in our office in uh, Chocolateness. And we received one of Harvard Business School students. He wrote a report about chocolateness. He came to chocolateness Kuwait. Mm. This, this is how we differentiate uh, the, the chocolateness brand. This is how we motivate. This is how we tell entrepreneurs that you can reach the impossible, uh, the impossible if you work hard. Mm. If you put the right efforts at the right time and the right location, you will do something in the future. Don't, yani, don't, uh, uh, don't think that simple, simple ideas or simple efforts will not lead you to a huge or influential uh, future. So we have to do whatever we can right now, and that will lead us to a better future, of course. Yani. Yes. Uh, this is my answer yes. to the question. <clears throat> uh, family members usually encourage people to get a government job, stable yeah. uh, income. Were your family supportive? and just transitioning to chocolateness? Actually, they told me to study computer because every company in the world need a computer yeah. people. So, uh, and w when I'm using the computer on daily basis for 10, 15 years, we are playing, huh? we are browsing. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, our family, our friends thinks that this is computing and this is the computer science and this is what companies need. But it was very different. Huh? Mm. I studied computer science and I was uh, a programmer, a software engineer. So it is totally different that the computer that uh, which we are dealing with every day. Huh? Mm. And it, just because the market needs a computer scientist, not because I love that field. Mm. I love computer science, mm. but I, I found myself more into 
marketing, being an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, establish my own business and the food stuff. So uh, it is, it's a matter of priorities. What do you like more? What do you love more? So focus on what do you love? This is the, the number one reason in your success is working in the thing that you love. Uh, yeah, the family influence the decision of the students, of the youth, where to go, how to, st to start. But it is not always right to listen to the parents and the family. And we should, uh, I mean, I'm establishing a, 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 an initiative right now to help the entrepreneurs or to help the youth below 16 years old how to think about their career path. Mm. Because this is, the most in, um, this is the most important thing in our lives. I didn't understand that I want to go to a top business school or I want to have my own business when I was 16 years old. All what I need to finish my high school mm. without any idea what we are facing in the future. So this is the, one of the important things and I, I encourage and uh, I, um, uh, I request from Sir Dab Lab to take care of the youth below 16 years old to tell them how to build the right and the best career path, how to think about their futures, to not yeah. choose the wrong majors or do not waste their times in the, think that, uh, in the things that comes as second priorities. They should put all their efforts and the, in, in the most important things that they love. Mm. It's definitely agenda. That it. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, did, did you or uh, I think all entrepreneurs experience doubt on whether uh, the business will succeed or not there's like an internal struggle how do you deal with these uh, conflicts and like based fears? on based on uh, our experience yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I know that when you love your work you will succeed just spend your uh, and just put some efforts in, in making your ideas happen, and happen. Just establish your own ideas, whatever the size of that idea is. Mm. Uh, even if it's an Instagram account, huh? showing your artworks, just show people how you are good in, in, in drawing. Huh? This might lead you to be a millionaire in the future. Huh? Mm. It, it, might, uh, يعني it might take you to, to another level. You will not, and you, know, you can't imagine what is the good things in the market if you are just doing the right thing on the right time and the right place? You just need to work. You just need to put some effort. Even if they are very, very simple. In the future, you will know how much you can gain from the market. Yani we never imagine in chocolateness. Maybe this is the, not the first time, maybe Tarak the second time we <laughs> tell this information, Tariq, uh, I work with him. Um, uh, so uh, when we started Chocolateness, we sold 400 molten cakes. We, we thought that this is very big, huh? having 400 KD in two days. But last year, when we work on a project, which is, we called it a million dollar project, we gained a million dollars in 60 days. And at that time, we understand that we, we can gain whatever we want once we put the effort needed to make that happen. Yeah. So it's, it's the Porsche chocolateness campaign, if you heard about it, يعني, last August and uh, last Ramadan. We did a campaign, uh, the chocolateness Porsche campaign. We, we made a draw. When, once you buy a, a dozen of our molten cakes, you will have a coupon to enter the prizes draw. And the prizes was the trick. It's yeah, the number one was the Porsche Cayenne GTS special option uh, car. The second prize was a National Geographic uh, expedition uh, to climb Kilimanjaro uh, mm -hmm. Mountain in uh, Tanzania. And the third one was a family trip to Disneyland Paris. And the fourth one was a Cartier, the Panther necklace from, Cart uh, from Cartier to attract the females. Mm -hmm. And the fifth the prize, was Rolex to attract the yes. male. Yeah. So we are putting that prizes uh, and we are delivering yeah, different, more than one messages, huh? More than one message, sorry. Uh, one of them is marketing message, advertising chocolateness to sell mm. more. This is the one. But the most important thing 
is we are trying to differentiate chocolateness than any other brand. We are telling the market that we are the Porsche of SMEs. We are the National yeah. Geographic. We are the Cartier. We are the Rolex. We are Disneyland of the small businesses. Mm. So this is positioning. We're in we are telling people that we are on, yani, it's positioning. We are, we are telling people that we are yani, as good as these brands. Mm. The third message is very simple. And that's why, we are, um, wh why I'm here today is motivating entrepreneurs and startups. Oh. One of the comments that I faced in, in, on Instagram on our account, one of the guys, he said, I'll say it in Arabic and in English, huh? He said, يلا تفضلوا بياع الكيك يوزع بورشات. So, يعني كان تعليق ساخر. He was making fun of us. He told the, the, the people, he, he, he wrote a comment telling people that they are selling cakes, and right now they are distributing Porsche cars. Mm. He was making fun of us. Yeah. But this is the happiest comment that I have ever seen. Because uh, on our beginnings, when we sell the cake in the exhibitions, everybody's, yeah, not everybody, most of the people telling us, yeah, why are you are just selling cake? It's a cake. Well, everybody was making fun of the people who are selling cakes or juices in all yeah. exhibitions. That's why I'm happy, because people right now understand how cakes can make you millionaires. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be millionaires. We want to be something in the life. Mm -hmm. We want to add value. This is the reason why we are living. We have to have an added value on the community, on ourselves, on our friends and families, on our community, and then to the world. So adding value is one of the things that challenging us every day. And يعني, this, campaigns, uh, this campaigns differentiate chocolateness. And um, going back to the question, please let me remember I the question. I forgot the question. <laughs> OK, so, so يعني, it's all about uh, putting some efforts, yeah, I remember, putting some efforts, whatever uh, the size of that effort, even if it's a very simple idea, you can start with a website or an Instagram account or a blog. You can start with a very simple uh, solution. Inshallah, one day you will reach a level of being a billion dollar project. Like Facebook, it was an assignment in Harvard Business School. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Ooh, Twitter and uh, LinkedIn, they all started as very uh, micro businesses, but alhamdulillah, and you are gaining a lot from them, uh, and you can do something in the future. Putting efforts is the key. Yeah. I will talk about the values if there is a question about the values. The cultural values there. There is two values that we believe in. Initiative and being loyal to that initiative. You have to initiate, you have to uh, innovate, and you have to be loyal to your initiative. This is the most important values for me, myself, and our company. We have to do something new or something that never happened, at least in our country. And we have to be loyal in developing and make this initiative happen here. <coughs> Sorry, are these the values you look at in, uh, like when it comes to hiring new staff? Are these things that you look for? Um, this is it's, hard, it's hard to... No, no, no. Yani, f uh, hiring people is yani, it's a different uh, thing. But of course, we, we try to let them adopt that uh, values. We try to let them believe in that values and work under that uh, values. Yani, yani, okay. it's, it's a mission, vision, values uh, strategy. Okay. But uh, connecting it to hiring, how, how do you select your staff? Uh, See, because of the need that every business and you want, uh, sometimes it's very hard to find the people that you want. But يعني, it's a challenge. You have to make them what you want. Mm. You don't have to hire the people who are talented or يعني, experienced to make your business successful. But you make them a good employees. And this is one of our strategies in chocolateness. Yani from day one, since they join us, we tell them that you are a family member in chocolateness. We're trying as much as we can to not use an employee mm -hmm. word. We are, t we are always saying if chocolateness family, family members, mm -hmm. 
And that's the first thing that makes the, the uh, new employee يعني, get involved within our culture. So we're trying to work in, in a family-based uh, culture. Mm. Uh, it's, it's that easy. You make them uh, work on the يعني, level that, that you culture. want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, in terms of in, uh, influences on you, do you have any mentors that you turn to for advice or for influence? Well, uh, we never يعني, uh, stopped learning from every single person that we face every day. I'm learning from you now. Mm. I'm always uh, loving to browsing all the websites that might help يعني, uh, growing our business and develop our personal uh, personalities. Mm. Um, all my friends, all the successful people here in Kuwait are my mentors. Mm. Um, I'm always looking into the successful elements in every person. And that's how we develop ourselves. Yeah, and if a, mm. a single mentor, no, I don't have a single mentor, and I don't have a specific mentor, but I'm trying to learn as much as I can from any single person, even from the lowest level workers. Yeah, and they teach us how to smile, huh? Mm. And that's uh, an answer, a big answer for the coming questions. I have, uh, if you have a branding uh, question, I'll let you know how we built our branding plan from the smiles. Mm. from the low-level workers. They, t they teach us يعني, every day how to be a kind people, huh? how to be a normal people to deal with every people in, in the same way. That being mm. Muslim, alhamdulillah, plus يعني, it's, it's a thing that we have to have يعني, uh, to be uh, people who are trying to increase happiness, to help people, to support people. So please ask me about the branding plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your branding <laughs> approach? Okay, uh, a branding plan plus what differentiates chocolateness plus the operations plus everything are the challenges that we are facing. Um, since we are facing a negative sources every day, like TV stations, like newspapers, like the social media channels, even it, when, when we see Twitter, yeah, I mean, we can't stay 30 minutes on Twitter. I know it's uh, yeah, I mean, too much saying 30 minutes, but yeah, I mean, when you read the news, when you read the messages, even on WhatsApp, huh, from the family and the, from the friends, there is always negative news. Mm. So when we, th when we thought of chocolate strategy, we try to build the branding plan to satisfy people and to increase people's happiness. Mm. That's why we... we, we uh, build the branding plan and we have the branding promise is instant happiness our branding promise is instant happiness mm -hmm. the long term uh, branding promise with the branding values branding plan branding story everything is يعني, very normal thing but the branding promise is making chocolateness different huh? mm -hmm. the instant happiness once you enter chocolateness store once you eat the molten cakes, yeah, and the molten, uh, of course, the chocolate increases the uh, happiness yeah. hormones, huh? But it helps hormones the saada, the chocolate. So we are trying to build different experience. Maybe it's ordinary from a point of view, but from our side, it is a different thing. We are trying to build happiness. Once you enter the store, once you eat chocolateness uh, cake, once you enter the website, there is a, a games page. A lot of people are asking us, why you are putting games on your website? Mm. It's a game for people who are less than 12 years old. So we are trying to increase happiness within the community by these kind of simple activities. And once you see our drivers on the roads, this is one of the good tactics. Once you see them, just say hi. They will wink and say hi and with a smile. So this is one of the activities that we are trying to build and develop in order to reach that level and to, to, to give back that promise, يعني, the instant happiness. That's why we made our TV commercial, if you remember, uh, the TV commercial, uh, Ham Ham Yum Yum, about chocolateness, where we brought the comedians who, do our, who did our TV commercial. And at that year, 2012, it was the, 
highest viewerships on YouTube. Mm. The mashallah, and it was a very good, uh, successful uh, TV commercial. Even um, uh, there is uh, negative feedback about it, but it delivered the message that we want to deliver. Mm. It is a marketing ad. At the same time, we are delivering happiness. We are delivering smiles. And we, we did that TV commercial during Ramadan, where you can see all the negativity uh, on all the programs, TV shows. They are always crying and fighting. Yeah. So we put that ad to bring smiles to, the, to their faces. Yeah. And this was one of our tactics, how we spread, عفواً, how we spread happiness. So يعني, the, the branding plan focus on happiness. Yeah. And that's why we are trying يعني, to differentiate chocolateness from different uh, perspectives, different tactics all يعني, to, to make the strategy of chocolateness يعني, a successful strategy in order to reach our strategic goals in the future. Mm. And uh, <coughs> what's your plan on spreading happiness beyond Kuwait? And uh, regional first of all, delivering our cakes outside Kuwait. Mm -hmm. uh, Alhamdulillah, maybe we didn't say about the information, how many molten cakes uh, we sold in the past? I want uh, يعني, you to answer me. Just guess. Give me a number. 625,000. 625. Have you been speaking to the accountant? No. <laughs> okay, any other number, please? 500? 400,000, just taking the 400. Alhamdulillah, thanks God, we sold more, more than 2 million molten cakes. 2 million piece of cakes. Alhamdulillah, this is just because we love what we, what we are working on. Chocolateness was a cake Mm. that we do in our family gatherings. Mm. So here is the secret how we, I, I, I can tell, I describe my love to the, to the product or to the business. We brought that cake from our family gathering. So this mm. is enough to say that we love the product. Mm. Um, uh, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, huh? Uh, but uh, I'm trying to well, cover yeah. as much as I can, uh, and I want to deliver as much as I can yeah. information. Yeah. Your plan to expand beyond Kuwait? Yeah, yeah. First of all, is delivering the molten cakes uh, outside Kuwait. Uh, do you do we, that now? Not right. yet, not okay. yet. Uh, and inshallah, next uh, week or the week after, we're, we are going to Saudi Arabia to, okay. uh, to study the market, to check uh, potential uh, locations, and uh, we'll see what we can do there. We'll start on Riyadh. Actually, this is our five years uh, plan, which started to the, during 2012, and it will end in 2017, the five years strategy. Uh, it's two, two goals strategy. Number one is expanding outside Kuwait, having at least three branches within 2017 in the GCC country. Mm. Starting from Saudi Arabia, inshallah, later on, uh, maybe early 2016, we'll have our branches in Dubai and Bahrain. And we are studying uh, a lot of franchises requests from all the GCC countries, plus India, Lebanon, Egypt, uh, UK, and uh, different uh, cities. Um, so we'll, we'll start in Saudi Arabia. Mm. Inshallah this year, يعني, we're trying to open before Ramadan, if we can, inshallah khair, the Magdarna, inshallah, after Ramadan, starting from Saudi Arabia, and as I said in Bahrain, uh, Dubai, uh, Bahrain and uh, UAE within 2016, this is the first goal. The second goal, it might be strange, strange, but it is very important strategic goal for chocolateness. Since I'm giving this speech or this answers about chocolateness story, I did, the, uh, I did uh, and I gave speeches in all the high schools and universities all around Kuwait, uh, Dubai, uh, Bahrain, Jordan, Istanbul, uh, London, Los Angeles about chocolateness story. Plus, there is a lot, too many assignments about chocolateness, how we use that uh, resources to, in order to reach that level of success from the students of the high schools and universities. Mm. Um, hundreds of assignments and the presentations. All of these steps leads us to have a case study about chocolateness story. Mm. And we are targeting يعني, at least to have this case study to be taught in, in GUST, the Gulf University for Science and Technology here in Kuwait, since we came from that university. Mm. So during one of the training program in King's College London, يعني, we are trying to, uh, it's, it was a strategic planning uh, training program. The professor there, Nazim, uh, Professor uh, Tajib Rajwani from King's, 
He told me, I will, I will adopt that case study and I will write the, the teaching notes and everything related to that case study. And I'll give it to my resources in two case houses, which, is the sub, which are the suppliers of the case studies for the universities all around the world. So right now, alhamdulillah, we got to promise that this case study will be in King's College London, Cranfield School of Management London, and we got initial promise to have it on the Harvard Business Review. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, we are trying to have it in guest within two, 2017, and it reached a bigger, a bigger uh, level uh, and beyond our imagination. That's why I'm always saying start and put efforts, whatever the size of that effort, and you will go beyond your imagination yani, in the future. So this is to the, the two main strategic goals in our five years uh, strategy. Yeah. We have a 20 year strategy. So yani, it's expanding outside Kuwait and uh, having the case study. Now expanding, I'm sorry I didn't mention what is the main reason of success, huh? of chocolateness success, mm -hmm. is the quality of the product. Every single product or surface in any company all around the world should be a quality any product. You have to put whatever you can to make it as any, to make it a best quality product. This will sustain your success in the future. That's what I learned from the Innovating for Sustainability, developing the CSR, the corporate social responsibility within the company, plus to sustain the quality, uh, to maintain the consistency of the quality, and whenever you have a very high quality product or surface, you will reach the level of success one day. But if you don't have the quality within your products mm -hmm. and services, yani your success will be uh, temporary. Mm -hmm. Even if it reaches six months, one year, two years, it will end one day. So the most important thing to start with is the high quality product and service. Mm. This is the five years uh, strategy uh, and expanding. The 20 year strategy contains uh, several goals, but one goal is very important for us, which is competing the global brands. Uh, previously in Kuwait, yani we are just thinking, uh, not just Kuwait, huh? all the Arab world, I think all the, yani, the, the regions, we are just thinking of bringing the brands yeah. from outside, KFC, McDonald's, Starbucks, whatever brand, huh? name it. Mm -hmm. But yani, our mentality here in the region, unfortunately, yani, SF, is just Impressive. importing yeah. the brands. But right now, we see a very good examples huh, in Kuwait who are, yani, people who are exporting their brands uh, internationally, like Burger Boutique, we see it in Muscat and Saudi Arabia, um, uh, Mini Delights, all GCC countries, mashallah, they started as a home business. And right now they are, uh, 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 they, they appeared in the map, mashallah. Plus Chewy Gooey, we are very proud to see the local concept, the people who are starting from Kuwait, and they expand outside. I heard uh, an information about Villa Fayrouz. Do you know Villa Fayrouz? Yeah. Villa Fayrouz, a local concept, huh? Kuwaiti who established, with his team, a Lebanese team, who established the brand of Villa Fayrouz in Kuwait. But I heard that a, a Lebanese company requested the franchise of uh, Kuwaiti co Lebanese concept in Lebanon. Mm. So imagine, huh? Yeah. That's what we are trying to, 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 uh, to develop and motivate. We're trying to export in, uh, instead of just importing the, the brands. So our 20 years plan is to have chocolateness brand competing with Starbucks and McDonald's in the future. There is nothing uh, impossible. I mean, we just need to uh, we just need to put that effort that I talk, يعني, spoke about. Inshallah, يعني, every one of us will reach the level of success. Just imagine how Snapchat started mm. and where are they now? It's a team of maybe 10 or 12. يعني, uh, mm. uh, they started in a very small place with very limited uh, resources and they sold or uh, they're selling the, maybe their uh, yeah, 10 billion dollar, mashallah. فيعني, uh, this is the expanding uh, strategy. Can we please open it for Q&A? Yes. I want to start, thank you. Two questions. One, when did you start having this five-year goal plan and the 12-year goal plan? That's first. And 20. then the second, huh? 20 years. Yeah. And 20 years. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I mean, I'm sure in your first year of operation, or I assume, you didn't think of five years ahead. 
So when did you start that planning? The second is about quality. So quality يعني, changes with price. So how do you know that you've hit the right, you know, the sweet spot where the right price for the right quality is? Because you can always go for very gourmet chocolate that's made in out of nowhere somewhere that's far away and have that 100 kd per molten cake. Yeah. Let me start answer the second question. يعني, the quality, we, we are considering the future uh, expenses since day one. So once we start uh, selling the, the dozen of molten cakes in 10 kd, everybody in Kuwait saying, mm. يعني, they are crazy people, huh? selling ten, يعني, a box of cakes in 10 kd, it was expensive. Mm. But today, all the businesses on our level selling their products even more than 10 kd. Mm. So يعني, uh, when you when you think about the quality, you have to think about the future of the business in general. What are the requirements to sustain that business and consider it since يعني, your beginning. So plus, don't think about cutting cost to lower the, يعني, that will, the which cost. will lead to yeah, lower the quality of the product or service in order to save money or to gain more money. This mm -hmm. one of the main reasons why businesses are shutting down or, or fail. For having the quality is the most important element in any business strategy. So I'm, I'm not sure if this is enough answer or let me know what your request, what your... Uh, so, no, so quality is a subjective thing, I think, and it's it, the price. So we're not talking margins. We're talking IKEA. Okay. The quality of IKEA versus some other brand, Roche Babo Okay, yeah. But yeah. um, you're paying for what you're getting. So to yeah. me, the definition of quality is you're paying for what you're promised. Yeah. It's high quality, it's, uh, it's, this is quality, is if you're delivering on your promise. You have to convince the, the market, you have to convince the targeted segments that your products or services deserve the value that you are putting. فيعني, as I said, we start selling the, the, the dozen in 10 kd. It was expensive at that time, but it is right now very normal price for getting a box of any kind of desserts. You have to convince and you have to, mark, to market it very well to tell people. It's, it's, uh, it's an awareness thing. Huh? You have to tell them how it tastes, its different tastes, its يعني, a good quality thing. Just convince them that you are giving them something different. And that, يعني then, of course, they will pay. Uh, and you, uh, of course, you, you see this uh, situation when you see some, someone who is angry on any, uh, any company. When people start to say, I, I can pay for you even more than what you want, but please serve me in the right way. I'm not ready for 1,000 dinars, but give me the right service. But يعني, it, it, from that point, you understand how to convince, you have to convince people that you are giving them a better alternative to, to, the, to the products in the market. So this is the answer of the, first, uh, the second question. The, uh, the, the other question, um, sorry again. Yeah, uh, I think this, this is related to self-development, the personalities of the entrepreneurs and startups. They should have a personal five years uh, plan plus a business uh, strategy, five years strategy. Um, from the beginning. From, from the, the beginning. beginning. Okay. They have to know that they have to know where they want to be after five years. When, when I was in, uh, in, in Gast, I, I told my friends and family members, after five years, I will be there. I'm not reaching there, I'm beyond there. So. Yani it is very simple thing. There is no requirements for having five-year plan, but at least put yourself, yani just imagine where you want to be after five years and apply that idea on the business. We said in Chocolateness, we want to be outside Kuwait without saying which country, uh, just in GCC. So, yani it is very important to let people know it is very important to have it on day one and make them as يعني, as simple goals uh, as you can. Plus, don't have too many goals. One, two, three, 
يعني فيري سمبل اند يعني ليميتد جولز ان اوردر تو يعني يو جيف يعني ان اوردر تو هاف ذا ابيلتي تو تو ريتش ذيم ان ذا فيوتشر فيعني اي انكورج بيبل سبيشلي سرداب لاب اند اول ذا اورجنايزيشنز اند بارتيز هو ار انفولف ان هيلبينج ستارت ابس اند انتربرونورز تو ليت بيبل نو ذات ات از فيري امبورتنت تو هاف ذا ستراتيجي فروم ذا وان ايفن اف اتس فيري سمبل ثانك يو If you want to expand and uh, open in, uh, in other countries, uh, how, since this is just a kick or something, how can you give the kick that it's made in Kuwait and it's have a story behind it? Like when you're expanding, like in Kuwait everybody knows the story of how to begin, but out of Kuwait, how can you save this? Uh, Communicate this story. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, it is uh, it's a good question. Uh, when we start thinking about Saudi Arabia or any other country, Uh, we thought about the the entering market plan, how to deliver the same branding plan in another in another market. So first of all, I don't know if you know about chocolateness and chocolateness express. We have two brands in Kuwait. We, we we don't want people to know or understand the two brands, but we have two brands because we are thinking of the franchises in the future. So we did chocolateness express. which is in Khaldi at the co-ops or the booths in small, uh, small booths in co-ops and, su- and supermarkets. Khaldi, Abu Hlaifa, Salam co-op. The, the Burj Hasim and the avenues branches, they are cafe serving full menus. So this is chocolateness, the cafe. But Chocolateness Express selling only molten cakes, the signature product. So when we want to enter any new market, we will start with Chocolateness Express, the signature product that makes people know and love Chocolateness. Mm. And we have target. Entering Saudi, we want to have Chocolateness Express at the beginning selling only molten cakes with its seven flavors. And the target is selling a number of molten cakes, a million piece or two million piece. And then after that, we expand all our product range there. So this is our strategy. We want to build the brand exactly the same way we built it in Kuwait. Plus, we do our activities that, يعني, it is, that suits the markets of Saudi Arabia. Plus, يعني, we are having different strategy for Saudi Arabia based on the requirements of the market there. But this is the main strategy. We have to let them taste the signature product. Yeah. And by the way, I'm not, I, don't, I don't remember if I said that information. We stayed four years selling only one product, the molten cakes. And like you will see from Saudis, uh, like when they come here, like, oh, I don't talk in Saudi Arabia, that would mean you go forward? Yes, of course, yeah. Okay. And since uh, two or three years, يعني, we are start receiving the franchises requests, but we don't have the powerful or the strong operation that give us the ability to open outside Kuwait. So right now, alhamdulillah, we are good to have. Uh, I had a question I wanted to expand on. Simply uh, because we are good on that product, we love that product, plus the need of the or the demand of the market on that product is higher than our uh, abilities. So that's why we are focusing on that product to, first of all, to satisfy the demand. Then we thought about expanding the flavors, same product, but different flavors, to give people something new. Because in the market, every day, the, peop- the, the customers want something new. So that's how we manage that uh, product, because of the demand. This is the answer, because of the demand. Yani. I think that because from day one, when you started in the new university, You find that the customers need this product from day one. You didn't, yeah. You didn't try to to find if the customer needs this product or not. It's from day one, they so want it. Do you finish all what you have? Yes. So this is. Uh, yeah. Uh, Even McDonald's. If you enter any McDonald's branch, you will see a frame of the a picture of the first McDonald's branch or one of the first branches, which is th- there is no McDonald's sign on the branch, huh? There is one million, the number one million, and then a sentence, cheeseburger sold. This is enough to tell people, come try our cheeseburgers. We thought about making a campaign in Kuwait, so saying that 
a million uh, molten cake <laughs> sold, <laughs> but يعني, uh, we, don't, we didn't have <laughs> the enough budget to advertise on that, especially that this kind of campaigns, either to put it on the traditional media or don't go uh, يعني, uh, for it. For simply, it's because of the demand and because we are good on that and because we don't want to lose the focus, as I said in the beginning. Mm. Thank you. Uh, I have many questions, but I'll start because it's related to this question. Um, other than financially, what is lucrative about opening, uh, expanding into the Gulf? What's about it? What's lucrative about expanding in the Gulf? Do you feel that you already saturated the Kuwaiti market and that's why you're expanding? Okay, so first of all, because of the demand from the different markets, they request the franchise of chocolateness. And since they requested uh, I mean, the franchise, we, we, we didn't make it because we cannot make it. And uh, uh, based on that market, we, we think our products will serve them. Our products will satisfy the, the taste of that market. So uh, because of the demand and because that we want to increase our uh, operations, we want to increase our appearance and, uh, globally. So. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is satisfying your question, but yeah. please let me know if you have any specific... Uh... Yeah, did you feel that you've covered the Kuwaiti? Yes, of course. Now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since we received the first franchise request, we th we th we w the answer was we, we are not يعني, strong enough to go outside Kuwait. So we have to be st very strong. It's two things. Having the, the staff or the, the, the team who can train another team in different countries, Plus, having the right partner and the, the right the budget needed to expand outside Kuwait. So they do want to expand, but not yet, given that they're not ready to expand. <laughs> you, you, have, you have to build a very strong brand in Kuwait. Even if you are يعني, strong enough to expand, but you have to strengthen your brand, your surface, the the, uh, yani after that, yani, inshallah, you can expand. Yani. I think she's asking also if the market is completely saturated, have you completely saturated the market? Is in Kuwait? The peak in Kuwait? Uh, sorry, no. So we are, uh, uh, we are dividing the tasks between two main teams. One of them will work on Kuwait to expand in Kuwait. And we, we thought yani, uh, four to five branches will be enough. But because of our product range, يعني, huh? the, the demand in Kuwait is still increasing. So يعني, every day I'm receiving requests from co-ops, requesting from them, please come on and open our, your store and your booth in our Jamia. In Kuwait, يعني, um, uh, uh, you don't have to uh, cover all the market here before going outside Kuwait. No, you have to distribute the, the missions and tasks. So going back to basics at the beginning, how did you decide, I mean, within administration, um, what roles to cover yourself, what tools to use to be able to manage your, your accounting or replenishment or your on-time delivery or on-time um, uh, product to, to make sure Operations. Yeah, huh? No operations. Operations. How, what, what tools do you use? Well, we started to work in our kitchen, in our, ho in our house my grandfather's house in Khaldia. We used a small kitchen and uh, we make this kitchen especially for chocolateness. And we basically, يعني, we see what are the needs in order to run the business. We have our uh, mobile phone to receive the orders, the place where we bake the cake, our cars to deliver the, the, the products, and the suppliers who are يعني, so, يعني, supplying us with the, the materials needed. So basically, يعني, we see what are required at that moment, and يعني, we get it. How would you shift after? So the shift from home to becoming like how were you yeah, able yeah. to delegate? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. After hiring the first يعني, driver, starting from that very simple يعني, uh, requirements, we need to have a car, and then we need to have a bigger kitchen, so we shift our operations into Burj Jassim. Even before we uh, open the, the, the doors for the customers, we use the kitchen while the labor are still working on the dining area. So we use the kitchen to expand our operations because of the need, of the demand. We, our, our kitchen in the house is very small and limited. Huh? 
So يعني, we are expanding uh, step by step based on the requirements. We didn't know what are the requirements exactly at that moment. But based on the daily uh, يعني, uh, issues and uh, يعني operations, what, يعني what we are facing every day, we think that we need this tool, we need this location, we need this place. And we checked a lot of locations in Kuwait. And right now, the locations that we checked before, it is يعني, acquired by different small businesses. But I remember, uh, Dr. Uh, before continuing on the answer, Dr. Uh, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh uh, Ali or Sheikh in Gust Gulf University, he's an operation uh, management professor. He told us that there is three important things for any business. I told you, Tarah. First of all is the location of the business. And the second is location and the third is location. So location played a huge role in the business success. Location. So we, we spend a lot of يعني, time in order to find the right location for chocolateness. Especially that our business model depends on delivery service. So our, so our business model is 70% delivery service, 30% is the dining uh, menu. ف, at that time, we check the location. We, we, we choose chocolateness Jasim Tower, which is on Sur Street in front of ice skating rink, if you know the, of course mm -hmm. you know the place. Because of two, uh, several reasons. One of them is Burj Jasim is on Sur Street, which can go easily to any area in Kuwait City. Plus, it is on two main roads to Kuwait, which is the uh, airport road and King uh, Fahad, the Maghrib uh, Street Road, mm. which can يعني, take you to any area in Kuwait very fast. Plus, we are very close to uh, Al Fahil uh, Road. So, from the operation uh, point of view, choosing the location was a very important thing. And this is why chocolateness is successful in delivering sweets within one hour today. Now, uh, even going back to the question of expanding outside, when we study the uh, UAE market, it's different than Saudi Arabia, it's different than Kuwait. Our strategy in Saudi Arabia, this is a secret of chocolate, but I want to share it with you to, to let you know how we are working, and how you can work. Huh? In UAE, we will work on the duration, the time of delivery. There is no company, there is no sweets, desserts, places who can deliver sweets within one hour. You have to order one day in advance. So that's our entering strategy. We will work on that thing, mm. delivery within one hour. So this takes us to the location thing here in Kuwait, choosing uh, the location. And this is all uh, came to us as a requirements by experiencing and practicing our uh, tasks every day. What were the first tools that you used? Sorry, secondary question. But like first tool? Yeah, first tools like accounting, ERPs, or uh, pen. Uh, <laughs> accounting, ERP, and, and let's say marketing as well as. Um, our our beginning, we 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 consider marketing as one of the important things, and I'm always supporting having the <laughs> maximum possible budget for marketing activities. I'm the person who says 70% marketing, 30% the capital of the business. Mm. And uh, I'm against my uh, partners in that idea. It is wrong, but I think this is one of the things that makes chocolateness a يعني, well-known brand during our يعني, beginnings. Yeah, I, agree. I mean, yeah. the actual tools, so like, let's say, what, yeah, software, you can speak what, you, what software do you use for, for accounting, for example? We, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we didn't use anything. Yeah. Pen and paper, our beginning. I told huh? you. But right now, right now, we, we, are, يعني, we are dealing with, uh, I'm not the operation guy right now, huh? but يعني, um, we are dealing with uh, advanced uh, softwares which يعني, manage all our account, uh, accountant يعني, um, operations, the finance uh, operations. Plus, we are using a very high and advanced system for our delivery uh, operations. We are really very, very, very strong in operations when it comes to call centers and delivery. When did you decide to do this? When did you take that? Uh, يعني, uh, maybe 2010 once we established the company and once we see what are the requirements to have the good base of delivery we, I mean, we met a lot of companies who can who, who provide solutions and services and we choose the one that we can I mean, uh, 
afford at that time. And يعني, every year we are يعني, upgrading, we are developing our softwares. There is no يعني, uh, end uh, for developing your softwares and tools. This okay. is when it comes to operations. يعني. Excellent. So, uh, I have to ask about what's the mistakes you make? It seems to be like a very, a very nice polished, mashallah, barakallah, but I'm definite like any startups you made so many mistakes. What is the mistakes you're willing to share? So, <laughs> yeah. I told Tariq before I entered the, the, the hall here, this is the most challenging question that I'm ever uh, facing. Um, there are always lessons, no mistakes. And yes. one, yeah, yeah, one of the things that actually, Wallah al I don't remember mistakes. Aqsim Billah. So, uh, one of the things that make our mistakes very little, because we study everything very well. And we prepare everything very well. Of course, there is mistakes. One of the mistakes, hiring the wrong people in our company. We discover يعني, a lot of issues from the employees, from the customers, from the operations. There is mistakes. Choosing the wrong supplier for, like, let's say, the tools, the softwares, the machines used in kitchens. But the mistakes mostly come into the daily operations or day-to-day -day problems uh, section. But strategically, because of the visibility studies, we didn't have any visibility study, but يعني, for future, we are trying to have our visibility studies. But we are, يعني, uh, uh, for, for expanding, for expanding in, in different markets. What I'm saying here is, in the strategic perspective, there is يعني, very little mistakes. But on the daily issues and operations, there is a lot of mistakes, which is solved every day. And that, what built our experience, the mistakes. And that's why I'm choosing the, the, the sentence, the, يعني, the successful person who, who, who is the person who are يعني, passing through the crisis successfully. Mm. This is what builds the experience of any successful person. But wallah, mistakes, uh, I don't remember. But as I said in my first company, it is the losing of focus. Don't focus on your business, this is one of our mistakes. I hate to say one of the mistakes that I just remembered, but um, study the product range very well. Don't expand uh, without studying locations. يعني, uh, locations, locations. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, يعني, the avenues, the avenues is it's it's a not it's not a mistake, but it is a challenging uh, mission. It's not يعني, a simple thing. The avenues we thought about the avenues. I I, I used to tell my partners, my friends, everyone, and still, I'm telling people that avenues can make you a millionaire or will make you a poor person. And alhamdulillah, يعني, we are challenging in the avenues. But because of the uh, challenge or the, 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 the size of that challenge that we are facing, we have to put a huge efforts, not normal thing, huh? in order to uh, survive in that market. It's, it's one thing, the key money and the rent. If you yeah. can afford it, you will be a millionaire. <laughs> if you can't afford it, and it is 8,000 KD, just to let you know. The rent of يعني, the branch and, and the avenues, 8,000 KD. Yeah. So you have to put huge efforts. So it is not a mistake, <laughs> but. Yeah. 8,000 to be precise. <laughs> yeah. And uh, 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 um, this, is, يعني, this is not a mistake, but the, 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 the challenging thing here is we have to study the market more, or we have to study the location more in order to know how we can gain the maximum uh, yeah, income. How much money you're spending yeah, yeah, yeah. and how much? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, this is yes. maybe it's come to Alia's uh, question. We, we have to understand the avenues market or the locations, even within Kuwait, huh? Expansion within Kuwait, yeah. Yeah, 
we have to understand the market before entering. And our experience was Burj Jassim, and then we entered the avenues. It's totally different, yani. Just uh, because you mentioned you have several partners and you have a dispute, how do you manage that part? You have several partners in business, so if you have a dispute or something or some issues. We have, we are four partners. Yeah. So if there's a dispute or something, how do you manage that part? First of all, since our beginnings, we dispute the missions between us. I'm, hand, I'm handling the marketing and PR with the franchising since day one. So I'm always dealing with the customer service thing, I'm dealing with the clients, I'm dealing with the marketing and PR. One of our partners dealing with the suppliers and one of them dealing with the operation. So from day one, everyone should find يعني, himself. Where is your favorite place to work in? So I'm the person who loves to communicate with people and I love to, to, to work in the marketing field. Since I was the in the students union, we always market and يعني, communicate with the students to market our activities and events. So it is very easy thing. Still, until today, whenever there is a need in any section within the company, the partner will cover it. And partnership is one of the most challenging thing in any company in the world. So it is, it is, يعني, uh, uh, يعني it is a huge challenge. You have to deal with it and you have to understand how to deal with partners, yeah. how to choose the partners. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Dividing roles is the main thing. Um, Hamid? Um, I have two questions. The first question is, uh, what, what was the first step that made you take that knowing that those mountain cakes should become a company? And why did you make such a decision, such a big step? My second question is, what was your biggest obstacle? You've mentioned a few. What was the biggest one that you had to break through to get to where you are now? Okay. Uh, the first question is, as I said, we chocolateness story divided into three sections, just for fun business, home-based business, and the official company established. So transferring from the just for fun into the home business is the, the answer. So we just participated in the exhibitions during our beginnings. Based on the demand of the students, specifically, and the friends who tried the molten cakes, we changed the, uh, we changed the idea from just for fun into a home business. So the demand created chocolateness. Mm. Uh, Big stuff. Yeah, uh, there is a funny story how chocolateness started. And I used to tell that story during our beginnings, but I will share it with you now. Um, after participating on the third uh, uh, carnival in Gast, one of our colleagues in the university, her sister was pregnant, and I don't know how to say it, but uh, uh, please say it in English to let them understand. Craving? craving. Yeah, a pregnancy craving. So one of the students, her sister is craving the molten cake. So we did produce the molten cake, even without baking the cake. We just make the cake and tell them, this is the way how you bake the cake. So it's a secret, huh? But يعني, كنا, uh, it, it was a very yeah. simple thing. So we deliver that cake. This simple thing made chocolateness become a company. We see how it is very simple to produce and deliver. Mm. And this turns chocolateness from just for fun business into a home business. يعني this is a story ضحك إنه واحدة متنسية but يعني سبحان الله um, always, I always believe الله سبحانه وتعالى mentioned in Quran that you have to put some efforts huh? you have to put efforts ابذل الأسباب بذل الأسباب مذكور في القرآن so we believe in that thing so we put the effort and الحمد لله see يعني where we reached today الحمد لله and other things يعني اسعى مجرد انك تسعى راح تحقق ولكل مجتهد نصيب I believe in that word لكل مجتهد نصيب yeah. for anyone who put some efforts there is a result a positive result yes. this is the answer for the question the other one please let me remember the, ah, the obstacles um, um, our main challenges are the how to differentiate chocolateness, and I answered that question, instant happiness and the corporate social responsibility, we can do something to the community. The other section of the challenges is how to establish the company in a market like Kuwait. It is, it is very hard, 
And, but but you, you can do it. It is not impossible. And I'm always saying, any person who can establish a company in Kuwait and work, let the business يعني, work, you will be a successful entrepreneur in any other market all around the world. Based on the obstacles that the people in Kuwait face every single day in any ministry, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Um, um, uh, today I was invited to give a speech in next Sunday in front of the Prime Minister, and they told me, tell him all the obstacles. Tell him that we are facing these challenges. I'm, I'm always saying that. Um, always telling all the people that we are facing that obstacles, but mainly, of course, anyone who has his own business knows that the labor issues is one of the biggest obstacles that we يعني, uh, face every day. Labor things plus um, suppliers. Sometimes there is limited resources when you want some supplier to supply you. يعني, we face one of the issues. We stopped one of the flavors of the molten cake because the supplier stopped يعني, uh, delivering one of the materials that we use in the caramel molten cake. If anyone remember our يعني, past caramel molten cake, because we import the, the material from outside, from Canada. So that company stopped producing. So there is issues and obstacles dealing with the suppliers. Uh, I'm surprised no one asked this, because I'm interested in looking procedure. How do you keep your secret recipe a secret? By not answering that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, before answering this question, I will be very happy to answer any question, any day, any time. This is my contacts on the board, uh, my number and my email. You can come to my office uh, anytime you want. You can email me anytime you want, and I will answer ev anything you want. Even if you request our suppliers, our secrets, we will share it with you, except the secret recipe of the molten cake. But يعني, uh, how we keep the recipe? This is the challenge that we are facing when it comes to expanding outside Kuwait. And I, uh, I, I met Basil Salim, uh, the owner of Slider Station, uh, Burger Boutique. I told him, يعني, how do you deliver the same products in different market? And he told me, there is no secret recipe. خلاص. Mm. Once, the, uh, يعني, once you want to expand outside يعني, uh, your market, there is no secret recipe. You have to teach them. You have to tell them. The only thing that there is no top or best recipe. There is always a developing recipe. So every successful branch, they are developing their recipes every يعني, year, two years, three years. Our case, I hate to share our recipe. It's, it is still a secret recipe. No one knows the recipe except the partners. So. We are facing several challenges. One of them, we are studying the rules and regulations in, in Saudi Arabia. In order to deliver, in, in order to um, uh, import from Kuwait, we should have a factory in Kuwait. So that's why we are trying right now to establish the license to have the license of a factory. Because they are importing only if we are a factory, not a company. Mm. For, uh, يعني, this is one of the things. Plus, we are thinking of having a factory in Al-Khafji, which is area and the uh, Kuwaiti-Saudi Arabia borders, mm. in order to not import from outside Saudi Arabia. So, yeah, our, our model in, in delivering the recipe is selling the franchisee in any country the source of the cake and the cake, uh, yeah, the cake mix directly from Kuwait. We will ship it to their uh, mm. kitchens in, in different countries. This is our strategy. This is the way how we're trying to save. يعني. Plus, this is a way to have a bigger income from the franchisee. It's يعني, selling them the uh, ingredients, being the supplier to the franchisees. So this is our, our way. يعني. No. We are, still, sorry, we are still having the recipe in a secret place. This is number one. Uh, plus, the, the recipe comes from different locations. It's, it's con uh, the cake consists of two, uh, and two parts, the sauce and the cake mix. And they are made in different locations. Are you, the, you the, are the owners doing this mix, or you have people doing the mix? Uh, uh, you have people doing the mix, but you don't know each other. They, uh, they, they, no, no. No one knows who do the recipe. 
and no one knows where we do the recipe. Plus, still, the owners يعني, manage the recipe directly every day. It, it consumes our time, huh? And يعني, of course, يعني, uh, the efforts we can put in different uh, things, but يعني, this is to save the, the recipe. Is that over? Yeah. Maybe someone will يعني, uh, benefit from this question. Aren't you afraid sometimes that this might be a trend? Well, this is a very smart question. Uh, before two weeks, we established our second uh, company, a subsidiary uh, from Chocolateness. We called it Connectness. Connectness, we will outsource all our uh, delivery services from Connectness. It's a delivery company mm -hmm. which will provide an innovative services in a new innovative ways, not a regular delivery company. We will outsource that surface plus the available free time of the drivers and the cars we will يعني, market them for other businesses so it's here يعني, managing the resources that we have and trying to make the maximum possible income from our resources uh, yeah uh, sorry but the credible question uh, actually actually no because يعني, when you read history when you check People always uh, want to have their sweets, and chocolate always, uh, I think, one of the top <laughs> choices. For, it might be a trend. A lot of people told us it will be a trend. Chocolateness is a trend, but يعني, we fight, we've, يعني, we fought a lot, alhamdulillah, to make it a sustainable brand. That's why we are trying as much as we can to train ourselves. We love and chocolateness family, the partners and the managers, we are يعني, trying to send our family members to the top business schools, to any possible uh, يعني, uh, workshop or conference all around the world to gain the best experience just to make chocolateness a sustainable brand. So we, we have always يعني, need to, uh, to increase our knowledge and uh, Very nice. train ourselves. Final question. Abdullah, because he has a wasta. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's the possibility of using the uh, and especially in uh, the way of uh, What do you mean by automated delivery? And for example, uh, without drivers? Yeah, roads. Yes. Well, uh, in chocolateness, we love to use the solutions for the first time. We're trying to be the leader in this SME's uh, field. So I didn't, I didn't see any solution which can give us that uh, surface. But whenever we see any resource or any supplier or anything that will help developing our surfaces, we will use. We're always telling our suppliers, sorry, our partners, if you have a new solution, if you have a new innovative think that might help any company, please let us know. We will invest, even if we want to pay more, to use that solution to save our uh, position in the market as one of the leaders in the, in the, in the, um, in the market of SMEs, not, not to show people that we want to be a leader, to, to save the, the, the position who give us the ability, uh, the ability to motivate people. When we lose that leadership, there might be a leader who is just thinking of being a profitable company who has no values like our company. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can ask Rakan afterwards. Sorry about that, but we're running way out over time. Thank you very much for uh, sharing your story and your experiences. Thank you. And thank you all for coming. Yeah. All right, my name is Ahmed Mutawi. Uh, it was my first time here coming to Sirdab Lab. I heard a lot about it on Instagram. So I decided to drop by. And uh, coincidentally, I had my own project that had to do a little bit with sweets. And uh, today's speech was about chocolateness. 
So I could relate so much. I learned so much about it. I experienced so many new things. It opened up my eyes to a whole different world. I saw my opportunities, the weak spots, and the strengths that we could have. And I learned so much, and I'm definitely going to use the information that was given at the speech to actually take that to my personal use and hopefully make my own business a little bit more better than that. My name is Sebastian. Um, I'm coming from Germany, actually. And um, I'm here for the first time at Sierra Lab, and I um, didn't have any expectations, to be honest. Um, I was just surprised today, um, feeling welcomed here and um, having the honor to be a guest at Sierra Lab at Startup Grind. And uh, my experience today was actually quite, quite well um, surprised um, to, to get such uh, honest impressions by Rakan today, who was the speaker at this event. And um, I think it's a um, good idea to gather people around and sharing their ideas and their success to be um, like a successful entrepreneur in this area. Rakan Fadala, Sharik Moises Fi Mashru Chocolateness, the Sharaf Tilion Fi Ziara Sirdab Lab, Well Musharaka Fi Had Anshatat Sirdab Lab, Fi Startup Grind Session. Lil Amana, Ahna Saidin Jidden, Fi Musharaka, Fi Malumat, Well Khabarat, Il Mutawadia, Ilin Amtilika. مع المجموعة اللي الأمانة تشرفنا فيها وكشفنا إبداعها في سرداب لاب هذه الأنشطة إحنا فخورين بوجودها اليوم في الكويت واللي متأكدين بأنها راح تأمن مستقبل واعد وأفضل لشباب الكويت ولكل المبادرون وأصحاب المؤسسات المشروعات الصغيرة وأصحاب الأفكار في المستقبل شكرا سرداب لاب على هذه الدعوة نتمنى لكم التوفيق إن شاء الله في المستقبل